Hey, I just got some new Forstner bits and I'm gonna put it up against one of my favorites. This is carbide and this is high speed steel. Let's see how this works. All right, Sedge, what's this? More Forstner bits? Yeah. Like you need some. <laughs> I've been seeing all over the internet, all over the YouTubes, and all over the Googles, this new bit that came out. And it may not be new, but it's by a company called Famag, and they're called Bormax Bits. My buddy Jason Bent on Bent's Woodworking, um, he did a video on it, and I said I gotta try these. So, if we look down here, yes, over the years, God, I have been getting Forstner bits handed down to me. I have some favorites in here I reach for all the time. Um, these are by Festool. These are the Zobo set, and it's a central tech shank. I use these in handheld drills, but I also use them in my drill press. These are phenomenal. These are hardened steel all the way down with a killer center point. Okay, and a Forstner bit is used for flat bottom boring but you can use them for through holes as well. Now, these aren't available in the States, or North America, so I want to talk about another one of my favorites, and this is different between the, the Festool ones and the Famag Bormax bits, because these are made out of high-speed steel. So what I'm gonna do is, this is out of carbide, and this is a Freud set, and I thought, I want to do this apples to apples, um, so we could test out these bits because I've heard from a lot of people that these are on the side are relieved for heat and these I'm just gonna try them. You'll see that I haven't even used them yet and we're gonna do it on, on a drill press. All right, Sedge, so you said this one's carbide and this one's high-speed steel. What's the difference? Okay, so the, this is something that a lot of people don't realize. They think carbide is sharper. It's not. Oh. High-speed steel is just as sharp as carbide, but the carbide is long-wearing. Oh. Okay, so years and years ago, yes, I'm an old dude, um, we used to have uh, saw blades that were high-speed steel, not carbide, and they would dull quick, and we always had them in, sh uh, so when carbide came out, it was just so sweet because carbide stays sharper longer. Gotcha. So one of the things we'll do is we will compare apples to apples. So that's a, that's a one inch or 25 millimeter, and this is the same, 25 millimeter, okay? So I wanna keep this as simple as possible, and we'll check the difference. Um, well, I'll chuck this up first, this is the carbide, okay? You'll see it, and it's tough to really get this on film, but you get a little spur point here. This is smooth and this is grooved. I would imagine that's for um, to relieve the heat on there. Okay. Okay, this has got a hex on it. This is completely round. So this will chuck up really good in uh, um, a cordless drill. This one pretty much designed for a drill press. So later on this year, we'll do a drill press primer, but I'll give you, I'll coach you through on a few things. Uh, I always put a magnet so my chuck is right there, uh, my chuck key. When I chuck up, a bit on a drill press, any bit. Everybody just tightens it here. You're not supposed to. That's why you have three holes. You take it and you tighten it up on three like this, oh. and that really keeps it from bit slippage. So we'll turn it on and I'm gonna bury it. Um, I'll set the depth and we'll bury it so we can pair apples to apples. Sounds good. So I got my depth set at an inch. I got um, my speed set for wood. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna quantify this by how much effort I have to put in to cut with, but also how clean the cut is afterwards. And we'll analyze both with this Freud carbide and the Boramax um, bits. So the effort was pretty good, okay? I had to put a little oomph to it with the Freud bit. But let's look at this right here. Chris, get in here so you can see this. See this right here? There's some, uh, a little bit of chip out. The bottom looks nice and clean as well, but I'll mark it F for Freud, and uh, you'll see a little bit of fuzz here. So let's switch it up and put the Boramax in. So one of the things I wanna point out on this Boramax bit is I called it out earlier, but I'll call it out again, it's got a hex shank. So in the first test of this uh, bit we did here, 
we were having bit slippage. And now we won't because of this hex and how the chuck here will bite onto that. That's huge when you uh, bore in at a certain uncertain speeds. So let's check out the Boramax bit. I got it chucked up. I set it at the same depth as I did the other one. Let's give it a whirl. Wow, look at that. Look at the sidewalls on there. There's no tear out. And boy, I am so impressed. And that's the Boramax. I would say in this example, the Boramax beat the Freud carbide. And that's high speed steel. Look how clean that hole is. All right, Sage, what do you think? Okay, so I hopefully in the video we captured that, yes, this is a carbide bit. I have some wear and tear on this. Um, it's older. Yes, we got more tear out. There was more effort with this, but I am so impressed with the cleanliness of this hole, but also how easy it was. Also in this kit, you get an inch and three eighths bit. You know what you use that for? It's 35 millimeter roughly. Uh -huh. Okay. And yes, you can bore it out and set your depth so you can bore outdoors. It fits cup hinges just like this. It's a great great addition nice. so in the set you get a 5 8 3 quarter one inch inch and an inch and an inch and an eighth and an inch and three eighths I I'll tell you right now I highly recommend these so what do we always say be positive stay sharp wicked, wicked sharp <laughs>